So implicit differentiation, find the derivative of y prime implicitly and for the equation that's shown. So if you look at the equation, we can see that we have um, an exponential function and we also have a trigonometric function here as well. Now, we've got two terms multiplied together. So what we need is to separate these and then we're going to use uh, the product rule. So the product rule, just to remember, this is going to be f prime g of x plus f of x multiplied by g prime of x. So for our first one, our f of x is 7x and our f prime of x is 7. So our second term we'll call g of x. This is our e4 to the y. And then our g prime is going to be 4e to the y. And when we have a y, remember, we're going to multiply this by y prime. If we look at our second term for our sign, we have f of x is 9 Let's go for minus 9y. And then our f of x is going to be y prime. And then our g of x, this is going to be a sine. So sine of 2 of x. And then if we differentiate this, we're differentiating the inside and the outside. So we're going to have cosine of 2x and the inside function is going to be multiplied by 2, which we can write as cosine of 2x. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is take the derivatives. So d by dx of 7x e to the 4 y and then minus so this is going to be uh well, let's write that first d by dx of minus 9y sine 2x and then d by dx oops of 4. so let's differentiate using the product rule so we got uh, 7 and we're multiplying by e4y, e to the 4y. And then if we take the derivative, so it's going to be plus of uh, our f of x plus the derivative of our g of x. We will have 7x multiplied by 4e to the 4y multiplied by y prime. Okay, then next term. So we're going to be writing, we've got minus, so right, just realize this is supposed to be minus 9y prime. Okay, that's better. Right, so we want minus 9y prime uh, multiplied by g of x. g of x is sine, so sine of 2x. Mul this is going to be plus. And f of x, so this is so the second one we're looking at here. So this is minus, so it's going to be minus. 9y multiplied by 2 cosine of 2x. So we just need to make this a bit smaller. Okay. 
And this is equal to, if we take the derivative of 4, this is going to be 0. So we need to see what we can simplify. So I can see here I have 2 and a minus 9y. So this is going to be minus 18y cosine 2x is equal to 0. So we have minus 9y, minus 9y sine of 2x. And then we have this term, 7x, 4e, 4y, multiplied by y prime. Now, this first term, I'm going to subtract from both sides. So I'm going to write that over this side here. So 7e to the 4y. Now, I can also take this term to the other side. So let's just rewrite this. 7x, 4e to the 4y to the y prime, minus 9y prime sine to the 2x is equal to... Now, this was taken over the other side, so that's a negative. So we'll have negative 7e, 4y. And then if we take this negative 18 across, it's going to be positive. So it's going to be plus 18y cosine of 2x. OK, so what can we do now? We're looking, if we look at both sides, uh, sorry, if we look at the left-hand side, we have uh, common terms. So we can factor. So we're going to to isolate these, factor by y prime. So this will give us 7x, 4e to the 4y, minus 9 sine to the 2x. And then we'll just rewrite the other side. So I'm going to change the order. I'm going to write a positive 18y cosine of 2x minus 7e to the 4y. OK, and now we can divide both sides by this term here. So 7x, 4e to the 4y minus 9 sine to the 2x. So 7x, 4e to the 4y minus sine. 2x. So this will cancel. So we have y prime is equal to 18y cosine 2x minus 7e to the 4y divided by, now I'm looking at my bottom terms here and I can see I have a 4 here and a 7. So I can multiply these together. So 7 4s are 28. So 28x e to the 4y minus 9 sine 2x. And there's our derivative.